Let's go into the meaning behind your trading account. Have you ever heard about trading account before and you don't know much about it? For the purpose of this uh, class, we are going to talk about the idea and every theory aspect related to trading account. First of all, what is trading account? Trading account is the first stage of the final account to be prepared because it records the transactions related to the buying and selling of goods and services during an accounting period. And it often has two sides, where the left hand side is known as the debit side, and the right hand side is called the credit side in accounting. The debit side records items like opening stock, purchases, net of returns, and direct expenses. And the credit side, on the other hand, records items like sales, services rendered, and closing stock. It tokens the debit and credit side to determine if there is any difference. If the debit side total is greater than the credit side total, then uh, it is termed as gross loss. But if the credit side total is greater than the debit side total, then it is termed as gross profit. This is very correct. Let's talk about the features of trading accounts. The first features of trading accounts is it records trading transactions only. I'm going to explain this. This particular features of trading account records net sales and costs that are being directly related to the trading activities. The second one is computation of gross profit or loss. The trading account records all the net sales and costs directly related to the trading activities in order to determine the gross profit or loss from such activities. The third one is transfer of gross profit or loss. Such gross profit or loss computed in the trading account is to be transferred to the profit or loss account. 